Hey, change makers. Today I want to talk to you about the power of marinade. Uh, if you cook, you know that there are times when you'll do a rub or a liquid marinade on something. And the most important thing you can do is give it time to rest, to let all sort of the juices soak in. And I've found in my own business and life that when I'm trying to do something really big or really novel or something that brings a lot of real heartfeltness or innovation, that there is a marinade time that's required. It kind of reminds me of if you ever saw the show Mad Men, you know, Don Draper, sort of the famous Mad Men, the ad man, the main character. He was coaching up Peggy, um, another character who was working on her first ad campaign. And she was so frustrated because she couldn't bring it to sort of that final conclusion. And he said, Peggy, the key to this whole thing is to think about something really, really hard and then stop thinking about it. And so I encourage you, I give you permission that pausing and stopping is a perfectly useful way of using your time when you're trying to affect large scale change or to do something big or innovative. It's okay to draft the plan and just let it sit for a while or um, to get all your thoughts out on paper and then to come back to it after a weekend. In fact, this is some of the most valuable thing you can do. Stephen King, the best-selling author, is known for after he finishes a chapter or a book, he puts it in a desk drawer and just lets it sit for a while before he comes back to it. So the power of the pause, the power of letting something marinate. You have not only permission, but I challenge you to try it. Let me know what happens.